Getting onto the surface of Mars is no simple task, and for the European Space Agency's Schiaparelli lander, it was always going to be a difficult challenge. The craft was using a new technique, which combines a high-tech heat shield with a supersonic parachute. After slowing down from 21,000 to about 250 kilometers an hour, it was then supposed to fire up its boosters. But at this point, less than a minute before arriving on the Martian surface, the craft stopped sending data. It could be that uh, this uh, parachute phase has been terminated too early, and then we were far too high, or we have had a, a behavior during the parachute phase that led the, the lander to be far too low. In the last 50 years, more than 50 missions have been launched to Mars. Most have failed. Just seven successfully negotiated the planet's thin atmosphere. The loss of contact with Schiaparelli mid-flight means it's difficult to know whether the craft has survived intact. Unfortunately, we're not in a position yet, but we will be, to determine the dynamic condition at which the lander has touched the ground. And then we know whether it could have survived structurally or not. Other parts of the mission, including putting a spacecraft in orbit around Mars, were successful. And despite the loss of the lander, the scientists say it shouldn't be regarded as a failure. It's a case they'll have to make to European governments later this year, when they ask for an additional $330 million to complete the mission. All the key pieces of hardware uh, were activated and provided uh, the data or functioned as expected. And so the, uh, the experience feeds into the next mission exactly as planned. The teams are now focusing their attention on the data they were able to collect before the lander fell silent. They're confident it'll give them answers about what happened and how it can be avoided on future missions. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.